am so happy that because uh, originally I heard that Soyeon was gonna go with like a cute concept or whatever, but I'm so glad she went with this one because I, you know, oh, I'm living. I was looking through this article about her comeback as a well debut as a solo artist, and um, someone was saying how all of these girls not going solo but coming out with solo songs. Uh, these girls from Girls Generation coming out with solo songs. They're all like copying Ariana Grande. I feel like they're just making like completely unnecessary comparisons though. Just because they're solo artists. Bitch, they compare because she had a fucking like one ponytail and like a visor on. They're like, oh, look at her. She's trying to copy side to side. Anyway, um, I found this brush at Clio today. Oh my God, it is the softest brush I've ever. I thought Real Techniques was soft. This is cool. This brush, I don't know about their other brushes, but this one is so, so it feels like a kitten's paw. And I tried it on my hand. I blended out this foundation on the back of my head. It was amazing. I'm gonna, I put it on one side of my face because I want to see how it looks. <sighs> Girl. I've always seen like that toothbrush looking brush, like the brush that looks like this, the Artiste brush, but so expensive. I know Etude House One has one as well, but it's so tiny. I saw this one, it was on sale for like what, 25 bucks? So girl, I picked that shit right up. I catch your ass out, how about it? It gives such a beautiful finish to the skit. But it does take away some of the coverage, so I have to I'm gonna add concealer after that. I kept watching the videos over and over again. I was watching live performances and it looked, her makeup looked different. And I, well, I'm sure she had more than one makeup look, but they all, I couldn't really settle on one specific one. So this is gonna just be a kind of, culmination of all the ones that I thought I saw. Let's see if I can blend this out with this brush. A little bit hard under the eyes. A little difficult under the eyes. Mm. I'm gonna use a sponge. That sponge was meant for contour and high level grill. I'm a rule breaker. I don't follow the rules. Now I'm gonna add some dimension to my face going into this personal color contouring palette in the cream texture. I'm finally using this again. I think I'm, the last time I used this was in that video I did with Jungkook. I'm gonna use this to add dimensiones to my orger. Y'all, there are some like exciting things that are gonna be happening in the year of 2017. Your girl's gonna be venturing off into uh, some other things, which is really, really exciting. I would have never thought I would have gone to that point where I'm gonna be doing some of the other things that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna use this end of the sponge and kind of dip into the highlighter here. You can use that. Apply the cream highlight. It is like 1 <clears> 30 <throat> in the evening here. So I apologize if I'm like low energy <laughs> right now. I'm like, no, I don't know what to say. I usually I'm more talkative in these videos, but today I'm just. I'm not really out of it, I'm just like exhausted right now. I don't even know if I want to powder this. I feel like I don't need to. Let me just powder under my eyes though, because that's just an area that I am, um, that she needs to powder because if she doesn't, then it's, just, it's gonna crease. It's already creasing right here, you can see. All right, now that the base for now is all done with, um, I'm going to fill in my brows. I got this from Benilico because I went with Yonggook to uh, Lotte World Mall because, you know, if you wanted to go shopping, so we went. Benilico, they were doing this pro some promotion where some of their top items were on sale for, um, you buy it and it's like $10 or something. If you get like th at least three of the items. He asked me if I wanted something, so I just picked up this brow kit. It's the brow kit kit. I I've been really into this lately. Um, it comes with these little tools and I really like it, um, but the only thing I that kind of annoys me is because the tools are, you know, supposed to fit in here. They're really hard to hold, so I feel like I don't have that much control. See, like, even just holding this, I'm holding, like, the, the spoolie part of this. And it's just hard to maneuver in my hands. And I mean, I can use these other brushes separately, but it's hard to hear. Um, 
if you see me like last year I was using the Laneige brow cushion for so long. This is basically the same thing but in powder form. You get two colors in there. But I feel like because these are powders you definitely get more control and it looks a little bit more natural. If we're talking about level of like naturalness, I would say the most natural is this powder brow cake thing from Vanilla Co. And then next would be the Laneige one, kind of like a liquidy type of deal. And then the most strong would be something like Jungkook's um, Sun in Park brow pomade thing, similar to the Anastasia brow pomade. That's if you want a bitch brow. So I have brows in the video are more straight, so I'm kind of just, I don't know, I'm just filling in the brows I want. Like, you can do your brows however you want. But I like how this brush has this little, if you've been following me for a while, I used to use the NYX eyeshadows for my brows and I always had like a really sharp, I had like an angle brush like this and then I would fill in the center with like a really fluffy brush. This is a really good um, alternative to that. So the fact that it comes in this kit is really good because I really feel like to avoid like really artificial looking brows, it's important to keep the center part like right here as faded as possible. So there's more of a gradient where it's sharper on the outside, a more fluffy gradiated, softer on the inside basically. See, I'm trying to explain shit like with really complicated words, girl. Then her brow's more brown, so I'm gonna run this brown. Eyebrow mascara, through the brows. The fuck am I doing? Honestly, my brows are looking too damn thick for this look, but again, mom did all do what you need to do to live your life. I need to like take a second to breathe because I need to calm down. I'm I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself. Now it's time to work on the eyes. I was kind of like debating whether I want to do like try to do something more feminine or do something more of like more boyish. But you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it like the most extra way, and then you can customize it to how you think you would like to wear it. I'm gonna start off. What am I gonna start off with? Let me put in some eyeliner into my waterline first, just so that. The, it can set and we won't have to deal with it. When we start doing other makeup, it won't like get all weird and smudgy. So if it smudges, it'll smudge from the beginning so we can just fix it later. I'm gonna brighten the lower waterline. We can open up the eyes. Y'all remember that trick? <laughs> the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. <laughs> Everyone would use that as like an eye base or in the waterline. That looks really gross, all bunched up at the roots of the lashes. But it's okay, because we're gonna put um, mascara there anyway. Oh my god, I look crazy. The eyeshadow, I can't try to keep. It, I try to keep it simple to two shadows. The first one I'm gonna use. Isn't this so cute, mm, Ryan? I used this once before, but I thought it would be perfect for this look because I felt like I've seen a performance that she did, and I felt like it, she had like a kind of orangey yellow warm shade uh, over her lid that was very sparkly. I wanted to incorporate that into this. A uh, look. I'm gonna put it on this large shadow brush. Also, because this brush is quite fluffy, so it's gonna apply. It's not gonna apply it super concentrated. It's gonna apply it more bro broadly. It's not the right word. Apply it more. Not as concentrated. I'm just gonna. It's gonna fluff the color on. If that makes sense. Usually, I would stop right at the crease, but just for this one, I'm gonna take it like a little bit past the crease, just a little bit, just so you know when it's open, it kind of shows up above the crease a little bit. But of course, it all depends on your own eye shape. So. Kind of like that. Earlier today, <laughs> I went to Myeongdong and I was getting, uh, I met Aura up for some coffee and I was ordering coffee and this guy came up to me and he was a subscriber so we took a picture and you know we chatted a little bit, we had a good time. He was with a girl though. She also wanted a photo and when we were about to take a photo she's like, oh yeah I'm taking a photo because I heard you're famous so I was like, Thanks, I guess. She wanted to take a photo with me for security, just so that later, when she, you know, saw, like, my level of following, then she'd be like, hey, look, I got a picture with him. I don't know how... Well, first of all, I was flattered at the fact that she even wanted to take a photo with me. I was very appreciative of that. But I didn't know what to think of that situation. I, I, after that, I sat down and I was like... But you know what? Whatever. She was really sweet, so, um... It was nice meeting both of them. There are people on the side though watching like, who the fuck is this guy? Who the hell does he think he is? Same thing happened when me and Joan went to, um, was it that festival thing with, uh, when Dean showed up? 
uh, there are a few people in the crowd that knew who we were, so they were taking photos of us, and there were people that were watching them, like, oh, I've never seen this person in my life. It's the fame. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> that is pretty much it for that shadow. Now, okay, this shadow, oh my god, I want to get all of them. These new Misha shadows are so fucking pretty. These are the uh, Misha Modern Shadow in Ital- Ital- Ital Prism? Ital Prism? They're named beca that because they were made in Italy. Uh, they were trying to follow along the lines of uh, It's Skin. Because It's Skin has these uh, really popular, uh, are they mad? They're like lip crayons that were made in the same factory as NARS in France. In France? So those are really high quality, um, whatever, and they're really affordable. These were... they're... I paid about $12 for this one shadow, but the point of the thing is that it was made in Italy, so... Isn't that gorgeous? Let me swatch it. Oh my god! Shit! So it's kind of like muted, very neutral brown, not too warm, not too cool. Has like a kind of moss green undertone to it. So um, that's exactly the kind of shadow that I'm looking for, for this look. This is originally just, honestly, if you want, because the photo I kept looking back at and referencing was this photo. Or not photo, but like a screenshot that I took. It was this one. Oh Ignore her expression. That This is kind of very similar to, in this lighting, in this picture, of course, this color is very similar to what she has in her eyes. So honestly, you could probably just go with this one and get a similar look. I'm going to load it up in another flat shader brush, but slightly smaller. So this one, I can just keep on mostly the mobile lid. Oh, Lord, I love it. I'm kind of just stopping here. I'm really liking all the shadows that were in this collection. In general, I feel like across a lot of Korean... Well, actually in my head I'm thinking more like along the lines of like Etude House and um, Misha. Because that's really the only ones that I've been paying attention to. Even, well, even like Cleo. A lot of the shadows are very more... Like the name of this one suggests, Modern Shadow. A lot of the colors are very... They're just sexier, you know what I mean? I feel like for the longest time, Korean eyeshadows were so like bright and like really white base in terms of like the color uh like really bright white base pinks things like that but i'm really glad they're really stepping up their game and um they're really going for more of these sorts of colors these really deep very moody colors does that make sense i'm going with like a small pencil brush and really concentrate that more towards the lash line and also out here in the outer corner just building up the intensity. And then going with this sort of brush. Love this brush for under the lash line. I'm just going to take a little bit. Same color. Really, this whole look is really... Can, you can just pull off with this one color. Or something similar. And go under right here. Kind of stopping two-thirds of the way, I guess. I'm sure you can already tell. I'm very, like... With my makeup, with, even with looks like this, I'm very like just slap it on. I feel like when I was doing idol makeups a little bit like last year, I was very more like precise about everything. But I don't know, I feel like with makeup, a lot of times you can just be very... Okay, I don't know if it's because of my eye shape because I feel like with really deep set eyes like this, you can get away with a lot of looks very easily. You can just kind of slap things on. But honestly, I, you can be as precise as you want. You can be as sloppy in a way as you want. Just at least... Here on Eddie's channel, you can do your makeup how the hell you want. I'm gonna touch up that color here again because it's looking a little, looking a little crusty. Don't worry, from far away, it should look fine. Hopefully, for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use this pencil. Um, this this Maybelline Master Drama in mid <laughs> This Maybelline Master Drama by Eye Studio. I don't know if they still sell this. I love this pencil. I don't know why I don't reach for it more. It's always sitting like at the bottom of my eyeliner thing, but it is really okay. You have to like work it a little bit, but it's like really fucking pigmented, really matte. Glides on super easily, and then like she don't budge. Oh, I have to go in all the way to the inner corner, but I hate doing this. It not it doesn't hurt. It's just like annoying. God. If you're wondering where my eye, my lenses are, they're the Alicia Brown. And I think she has a little bit of a flick. I don't know if that's because of her false lashes or it's the actual eyeliner, but I'm just gonna... And a little bit of a flick. 
I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Also blend that out a little bit. Really make sure you get into the roots of the lashes. You want the upper lash line to look as thick as possible without actually having to draw like a line on the upper lid. Just want the liner to be really soft. It doesn't have to be too like precise or whatever. Then I guess for the rest of like the winging effect, we'll leave we'll leave that to the mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to actually. Do I want to put the false lash on first? I was gonna use false lashes on her hair because I noticed with her eyes, the under she's got at least individuals under here. Um, I have these from Shin Stealer. They're under lash falsies. I don't know if I need to because I feel like just um, mascara will do. You know, what? I'm just gonna use mascara. If you are lacking like the lower lash department, then go for it. Use individuals. Uh, play you maybe like three individuals, and that should give you the look. Um, I'm gonna use again the Tony Molly Pikachu mascara. Love this mascara. Probably should have curled my lashes beforehand, but I feel like just this gives me enough curl. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I am, I am not. I am so sorry. Oh, oh lord, yes. And yet, even though I keep loading my lashes with mascara, it's still really separated. But they're they're just like enhanced. You see that right there? Lord, yes. And then of course, oh, I should probably should take it off because I'm gonna put some on the bottom lash line, and I don't want to put too much on there. Oh hell no! What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Woo! Makeup with Eddie. Professionalism. Beauty guru. Where you at, Etsy? Where you at? Cleaned up my brows a little bit with um concealer because I felt like they were they were a little crazy. They were uh, a little bushy looking, which is like a look, but I don't. Not what I wanted for this one. I think I want to set the center of my face a little bit using uh, some powder. I'm mean, using the powder I've been holding this whole time. Now, this is the part where you have more a little bit of wiggle room, I guess, in terms of lip color. There are two lip colors that um, she had, mainly for the most part, in the music video. She had this dark red lip, this kind of vampy lip, and then she also had like this really glossy pink lip. I'm going to show you both and also it gives me opportunity to show you these two lip products I had a, for a while I still haven't shown them at all in my videos so this is the lip syrup from Clio. I love the name of lip syrup. <laughs> very very moisturizing, very glossy so really great if you have very dry lips like me. This is in the color Mary Go Coral. Use a brush just to get a little bit more precise for out here. Because she does have her lips quite, um, it's like a full lip application rather than like a tint uh, gradation sort of look. That is so pretty. Hmm. Because it's so glossy, you don't have to put a gloss on top. And it also acts like a lip balm because it's so moisturizing. There you go. Here's the finished look with the first lip. Now, if you want to try it with the darker lip, I'm going to be using the- well, you have to use this. Um, this is the one I'm using. It's the Too Cool For School Glam Rock Lipstick in Red Bite. The concept of the, all these lipstick- the lipstick in this line is like vampy colors, very deep reds, very like wines, things like that. I got this from Joan, so um, she has great taste in lipstick, so I'm going to use this. And again, like the other one, I'm using it like in full. Oh god. And it's matte. Oh lord. Oh my- I want to put the. I want you guys to see this. I'm gonna. We're gonna go up close. No, oh Lord, sloppy applique. Okay, no more. No more close-ups for you. It's a little bright for me, so I'm gonna add this black lipstick on top just to deepen it up a little bit. Oh shit. Oh my God, that is perfect. Hold on. Let me even that out. Perfect. I love it. I love it. And there's the finished look with the darker lip. Oh god. <laughs> that shot that we- that some beauty gurus do uh, at the end of their look, they're like... I mean, I, I have my intros that I do, but you know when like, they finish the whole look and they do it at the end, it's just like silent for like five seconds while they're just like... 
I mean, I saw you finishing the whole look at the end. I don't need to see like five more seconds of it. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I put a little bit of concealer around my lips, um, which is the way I like to wear a lipstick. So it looks a little more natural and the light isn't as harsh. There was the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I wasn't that like talkative in this video. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm just really out of it. It's 2.30 in the morning now. I'm gonna wash shit off. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys. Oh, uh, if you, there's any products that you're interested in, I'll link them down below. Um, as usual, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Cause I see you know it Girl I might be the man to give you that I just want some man